ask yourselves how something as big as an airplane can fly through the sky? Well, if you want to know what it takes to make airplanes fly, come on, let us explore aerodynamics. Aerodynamics is the way air moves around things. The rules of aerodynamics explain how an airplane is able to fly. Now, you probably believe that an airplane flies because of its engine. Not only that, because the wings of an airplane plays a great role in making it fly. Aerodynamics, the study of flight, is founded on four basic forces. Lift, weight, thrust, drag. How do these forces work? Let us start with lift. Lift is the push that lets something move up. Lift, which is the key principle of flight, is generally explained by three theories. First, the Bernoulli principle explained as the speed of a moving gas increases, the pressure within the gas decreases. Wings have low pressure on top and high pressure at the bottom. Thus, a greater pressure is exerted in upward direction, causing the wings to go up. However, it does not fully explain lift. To understand lift better, let us take a look on how air moves around an object. There's Kwanda effect that states the airflow will follow the shape of whatever it encounters, which is in obedience to Newton's third law of motion. Let's demonstrate. As the air flows between the Christmas balls, it follows its shape, and the air is directed outward, causing the balls to move together inward. Let's see how that works on real wings. The air into the wing's upper surface is curved so that the air rushing over the top of the wing speeds up and causes downward drag, and that pushes the wing upward, and that's the lift. The second force is weight. It is the force of two masses being attracted to each other. This is the force that pulls us towards the center of the earth. Thrust is the force that pushes something forward. It is created by the jet engines or propellers of an airplane. Given this demonstration, the force exerted by the demonstrator is the thrust itself. Drag is the force that tries to slow something down. Notice the shape of the nose of an airplane. It's pointy, right? That is because we need to have a smaller job to cut energy needs to move forward. Have it understand drag yet? Check this out. Narrow surfaces usually have less drag than wide ones. The more drag that hits the surface, the more drag it makes. Now, these four forces are the reasons for flight. Thus, for an airplane to take off, thrust must be greater than drag and lift must be greater than weight. So when you ride an airplane, remember the signs behind. Enjoy flying!